Good morning and happy Wednesday. We are at the midpoint of our week. Hope you're doing great today. I have had my morning exercise, done my morning routine, and getting ready for a dentist appointment this morning. So my day is moving along rather quickly. Today's zone mission, I hope, is a quick and easy one for you. It's to detail clean your tub or shower. For me, I use my Fly Lady Purple Cloth after every shower, wipe down the walls, wipe down the tub, and then do my swish and swipe. And that takes care of my entire bathroom in about two minutes. Some of you may not be doing that detail cleaning with your tub. I have to do it because we have hard water and iron in our water. We live in the country with a well. And if I keep it wiped down daily, then the iron doesn't build up and soap scum doesn't build up from the hard water. So I'm just in that habit of detail wiping my shower and my tub each morning. It just happens naturally. I don't really even think about it. But if you're not in that habit, you may have to do a little bit more deep cleaning to get that tub shiny today. But I want you to clean it. You'll feel better and it will help your bathroom look great. I had an email this week um, from someone who's struggling with finishing her to-do list. And she said the problem is not getting started. It's when she gets to those last couple of things on the to-do list, she just decides she's done enough and shoves them over to the next day. And that's not the way that I want you to handle your to-do list. I want you to keep it short and sweet. I want you to be successful every day in completing it. I put down three things each day that I want to complete that's on my to-do list. I keep them very simple and easy and each day I'm able to work them in. Sometimes I do one thing in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Sometimes I do all three in the afternoon. It really depends on what it is and the schedule of my day. But if you're giving yourself daily a to-do list of eight to ten things or longer, it's hard to stay motivated and finish all of it. And I want you to be, be successful with it. Good morning, Joanne. She said her problem on a to-do list is what to do first or on any other list. For me, I prioritize what I want to get done. I either pick the thing that I put off the longest, that I procrastinated, or I pick the thing that I want to just get it done and over with so I don't have to look at it all day. And then I save something that I don't mind doing for the end of the day. That's how I prioritize. Sometimes I prioritize by what needs to be done first. If I need to get some things together for a project in the morning because I've got to work on it in the afternoon and finish it up, then I'll put that up higher on the priority list. So a lot of that just depends on either things I don't enjoy doing or timing if I need to really get it done sooner rather than later. But keep those lists short. You can keep a long master list. I'm not telling you not to keep a list of running projects that you want to work on and have a master list, but keep that in your control journal. Keep it closed. Don't look at it all the time. Look at it each day when you write down the three things you're going to do. I use sticky notes a lot. Those help me stay focused and it helps me just see those three things I want to do because I look at that all day long. Mark them off as I do them. At the end of the evening, I trash the sticky note. The next day, I start again. And that way, sometimes I'm pulling things off the master list, but I'm also dealing with things that have crept up that need to be handled now. And that seems to be a good way for me to deal with my to-do list. I've recently finished my last edits to an editor on my book that I've been writing, and it's taken me a long time. And there have been days when I haven't felt like dealing with it. There are days when I just didn't have the time with everything else I was doing. But I kept that on my massive major to-do list. And then I would write on my to-do list, work on chapter whatever. Edit chapter whatever it is. Look at the table of contents. Check over your introduction. So I kept the big thing on my master list, but I pulled off small things for my daily to-do list. That way I accomplished the entire project, didn't drop the ball, and it stayed before me as to what I needed to do. Same thing for my morning blog posts. I write those usually daily. Sometimes I'll do a couple of them over the weekend. But that's something that's usually on my list every morning is to get that blog post ready and scheduled for the next day. That's kind of a running to-do list that just stays there, but I have to do it daily. If I've been working on my bedroom project, I would write myself a note, deal with this box today, put these things away today. On a Saturday, I painted trim. 
So I kept it broken down, but kept the big project on the major list. That way I was successful in completing my to-do list each day without procrastinating pushing something over to the next day. So keep that to-do list short. It will help you, I promise. And if it's a massive job for you to clean that tub today and you feel like you're having to scrape it and get all that stuff off, I encourage you to keep a purple cloth in there or use your washcloth even. Wipe down the walls just as soon as you finish your shower. Wipe out the tub and move on. Seriously, once you get into that habit, it will take you 60 seconds to do it each day. It is not a long project for me to do that in the mornings, but it really does help the overall look of my bathroom. For dinner tonight, we're doing a freezer meal. I made a frozen turkey pie a couple months ago when we had turkey and I had leftovers. Ground it up, made my pie crust, had the gravy, and that's really all I put in a turkey pie is pie shell, meat, gravy, then the top of the shell, and I bake it and then freeze it. So the only thing I have to do today is thaw it and warm it up. That'll be dinner. It's gonna be easy for me. I'll still be able to do my dentist appointment this morning do homeschool with the boys, do a couple of things for zone missions around the house, and I'm gonna have a great day. But I planned it in a way that my evening meal was gonna be very easy. We'll just fix a couple of sides to go with the turkey pie, and we're done. So if you have not tried freezer cooking and you find that you have leftovers, start freezing those if you have enough that will make another meal. Double recipes this time of year. You can make it easy on yourself on the days when you've got a complicated schedule to get around. So I appreciate everybody's comments this morning. Good morning, Charlotte. Glad you're here. If you have any more questions or comments about your to-do list, put it down here in the comments, or you can email me at Tammy at TammyFox.com. So I hope you have a fabulous day. I'm going to get ready to go to the dentist and have my cleaning, and everything's going to be fine. I take really good care of my teeth, but I go every six months and have that cleaning. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.